Emily Dickinson's poem, I Felt a Funeral, in my brain, consists of five stanzas of ballad meter and documents the process of a mental breakdown or possibly a fainting spell through the conceit of a deceased person narrating the events of her own funeral. She hears the solemn steps of mourners, whose tread is then replaced by the drum-like beating sounds of a funeral service. She feels as if her mind were going numb. The sounds then change to creaking as her coffin is carried, then heavy footsteps again, and the overwhelming tolling of a bell. The speaker's consciousness diminishes to the point that it's just an ear hearing this sound, which is then replaced by silence. She feels the sensation of falling or being dropped down. Finally, reason breaks down, and she ceases to be conscious of anything. Unusual for a poet who so accurately portrays visual detail, this poem is all sound, no sights. Instead of reporting clearly about what she sees, she felt a funeral. It seemed that sense was breaking through. She heard them lift a box. By relating events as if the speaker were one step removed from full perception of reality, the poem documents the stages of loss of perception, going from consciousness to semi-consciousness to unconsciousness, and ending at a moment when the process of thinking suddenly ceases. What does it mean to feel a funeral, especially in one's brain? As the poem proceeds, readers may sense the speaker is discussing painful or uncomfortable sensations in her head. The poem begins with a gathering of mourners treading through the speaker's brain, the pain becoming so unbearable, her mind goes numb. At this point, she no longer speaks of her brain and her mind, but of space, all the heavens, and being, which suggests a loss of or descent from consciousness. In the fourth stanza, she's alone in silence, no longer among the mourners. Finally, in the last stanza, when the plank in reason breaks, she plunges into unconsciousness. Dickinson presents the loss of consciousness in a manner reminiscent of the finality of death. 